Well, this is the quick uh, how to on the basement gardener show of how I make infused butter for a later recipe of uh, peanut butter cookies, which I'll uh, wind up showing people live. I've got a half a pound of butter here, or one cup of butter, and I've got RSO here. This step's about 60% THC. Um, I know I've got about uh, 12 grams of oil in here or so. I need to get 7 grams of oil into here once this is melted. <coughs> now, when making infused butter with, with oil, it's a slightly different process than making infused butter <coughs> with flour. Um, because with oil, you don't don't want to bring the butter up uh, warm. You don't you don't want to get the butter too hot. You don't want the butter to bu to bubble and simmer. You just want the butter um, warm enough to be able to melt. Because <coughs> oh, shit, excuse me. You want to be able to get this oil to mix in with the butter, but you don't want the oil to simmer or bubble. You don't want to you don't want to you don't want to decarboxylate this oil at all. And you don't want to decarboxylate anything in this butter because um, and you don't want to bring the temperature too high on the butter. Otherwise when it cools and comes back together together the water content there's approximately a half ounce of pure water content in here. That water won't come back into the butter properly and you'll wind up with a separated product and you have to treat that a little bit differently when you're cooking. I want my I want to be able to come back with a product exactly like this with oil in it. Uh, I don't want uh, I don't want it to look like resolidified clarified butter where you've got the two layers that are separated the fat the curds the whey all of that stuff I don't want I don't want that I want full homogenized butter to come back and to do that you have to bring it to temperature and bring it up to heat very slowly very very slowly that also works better for getting the oil into it at uh, a much lower temperature now when you're dealing with oil to get it into your uh, into your solution I strongly recommend now I know this stuff for in, in you know the general world you know for people can be considered to be expensive as fuck um, when you grow and you make your own it's really not I make my oil from waste basically but I've had this stuff tested before it comes out at about 60% THC it tastes like chlorophyll when you smoke it but you can run this on a paper or hit it in a dab rig just like any other oil and it works fucking great um, gets you ever living stoned as fuck and this is around 12 grams of it this stuff would last if you were just smoking this stuff on papers this stuff would last you for months and months and months um, yeah but I just make it with sticks and stems and scrapings off my uh, off my rolling tray and uh, what I wind up doing is I fill a jar with, as you can see, bits and sticks and stems and scrapings and shavings and shit like that. And I put 500 mils of isopropyl alcohol in there. I've even got some rosin pressing bags in here that have got that little bits of leftover. There might be a little bit of cardboard left in here that got scraped in from my rolling tray. There's another little piece. But it's all fresh stuff. There's even a few dead seeds in there from a bad batch. But that'll soak in isopropyl alcohol for probably about a week at this point and then uh, I'll super strain it and I'll put it through a couple of restaurant grade coffee filters and restaurant grade um, deep fry filters and then I'll pour it through uh, an old 220 micron uh, bubble hash bag that I've got once I've got that done I've got a little process that I go through to do a um, evaporation, a quick evaporation on it, so I can get it done in about 45 minutes, 
and the end all be all of that is once I fill that jar and I go through the 500 ml vap I wind up with about 11 and a half or 12 grams of product just right here <coughs> and to make the batch of cookies that I plan on making tomorrow I make my butter today so that I can reconstitute it in the fridge because I want to make my butter or my, make my cookies with nice room temperature butter so that they leaven properly and all that but um, yeah um, the fuck was I saying can't remember now I guess I'll have to edit this shit but uh, what the fuck was I saying butter cookies edibles make oh yeah peanut butter cookies the recipe blah 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 so the recipe calls for um, to make 24 cookies calls for um, one cup of butter um, the, the the ratios that I decided to run with on this recipe was uh, my RSO is about 60% THC so 7 grams of RSO <coughs> at 60% THC into one cup of butter and then cooked through uh, or portioned out into 24 portions give me gives me a dosage of approximately 160 uh, milligrams uh, per per cookie <laughs> 160 milligrams not like uh, the rec market where you've got 10 milligrams per dosage no 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 so these are going to be pretty wacky in the fucking face uh, good and as you can see I'm melting here very 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 slowly very slowly I don't want to let the fat break um, at all I want to melt it very 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 slowly and by very slowly I mean when you melt it it almost looks like creamed honey it doesn't go clear and I'm winding up with a little bit much. I'm actually going a little bit fast here. So I'm going to take half of that pot off. And just keep the uh, high half, high hot piece warm so that um, there's a little bit of warmth and that, that slows down. Yeah, and like I said earlier too, when you're getting your oil out of here, I need to get seven grams of oil out of here. Um, use something that's disposable. Don't fuck around with trying to bother saving a little scrape here, a little scrape there. What I'll do with this thing at the end of it, when I, once I've got my five grams out, because I'm just gonna keep weight on this and keep track of how much I remove. Um, this thing, I'll wind up wiping this off on a couple of a half dozen papers and then just fucking throw it out. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, you just sort of move it half off and let that butter melt really, really, really slowly. I'm gonna hit pause and I'm gonna let that happen. Yeah, I'm gonna come right back and say, <laughs> the, um, I forgot what I was gonna say when I came back. I'll get the, uh, I'll come back and uh, once this is melted down really well, and um, I'll get the start getting the oil into there. Yeah, I completely forgot also that I have another trick for doing this. Also, go to the dollar store, get yourself one of these uh, two dollar uh, coffee coffee cup warmers. These are great for for warming up your oil and liquefying things a little bit and uh, making it a lot easier to get into your uh, into your cookies just a little uh, little tech tip from the garden it doesn't take long for the oil to start to glisten and, and flow it's only been on the on the warmer here for two or three minutes this is going to take its time though I was quite serious when I said uh, Make sure this stuff melts as slowly as you can really get away with. Really, really, really slowly. Really want it to melt nice and slow. Don't want uh, don't want the, the fat 
to uh, to break. See, it's barely bare. It's barely separating. But with a mix, as soon as you take it off, that fat will mix right back in. No problem. It'll mix right back in. That's what you want. You don't want it to get warm to the point where the fat and the water won't mix back together. Still taking our time. Yep. Still very, very slowly melt. I wasn't kidding. Melt real, real, real slow. And this stuff's warming up nice and slow. All good. Oil's been, uh, oh, five minutes, another five, seven minutes or so. It's nice and liquefied. It's going to attempt to eyeball and pour off uh, seven grams. Going to take a weight first on the, the whole thing. One hundred and thirty-four. We're going to call it. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and thirty-four with the uh, with the jar. So that means I want to go down to one hundred and twenty-seven. 127 grams. So I need to pour off 7 grams. 127 to pour off. Pour it over top of the butter. Now I know that there's there's uh, 12 grams in here. So I know I'm going to be pouring off way more than half of this. But let's see where we are. Or need to take off a little bit more than another three grams. It's kind of slow to pour, but hey, you get the idea, don't you? Now's when your little knifey comes in. Taking off another three grams, and it's probably right there. Stick that in your butter. Take the weight here. Uh, I still want to take off almost another gram. Well, you know what? I don't think it's there. For some reason, I think the measurement's off, so fuck it. We're going to go for really strong ones. Put it all in. Bingo. My battery is just about dead. Shit. I'll be back. Okay. Got it all done. Get the scale out of here. Now, oh, let's lift this up and get a better look here. Yes. As you can see, the oil is in here. Still melting with the butter. Keep the oil moving around, and you'll see that that oil will blend in with your butter, no problem at all. Try not to splash it around too much, because um, if you don't need to get the butter stuck up the sides of your pot here, you don't um, you don't want to. And also, too, until this oil actually gets properly melted into the butter, I mean, you all know how sticky fucking oil is. You don't you just don't want it stuck all over the insides of your pot where you have to where you have to clean it out you do it like this and you just get it blended in there nice and slowly take your time don't splash it around too much um, you wind up with less mess to deal with later because we also want to recollect this and you'll want to have a solo cup for that Because when you get this stuff, when you re-solidify this stuff back together, put it you put it in the fridge after it's all mixed together properly <coughs> to bring it back together, and um, 
then you've got a solo cup that uh, you can just cut it out of and destroy throw the solo cup away take your time there's no rush or just keep going until it's all blended in there properly and don't go and use your wire whisk or anything like that because if you get the soil on your silicon whisk and stuff you know how much of a bitch this stuff smears and you don't want to bother with that just take your time there's no need to rush The oil takes a little bit to mix in, but like I said, the THC is fat soluble, so it's gonna it's it's cooler right now than the the butter is, so it's got to come up to temperature before it dissolves. But you got to keep it moving so that you don't wind up with lumps. You want to have your THC blended in there properly so that you have an even distribution throughout your your entire recipe you don't want to have one cookie that's got an extra high octane fucking lump in it give that to some inexperienced friend and rather than giving them a cookie where you told them look i only want you to eat a quarter of this cookie they go and eat a quarter of the cookie but get that lump in it it's just like eating a whole cookie so i mean maybe if you don't like that friend too much they're just on the b list of friends Sure, that could be funny. Get it on video. Get this all mixed in there real good. I don't. You don't want to see any little bits of black. You don't want to see any residual traces of uh, of solid oil in there. Get it all mixed in real well. Keep it moving. Keep it warm. See, as you can see, I still haven't quite melted all the butter, but uh, all of the oil is all mixed, is all blended in there. There's very little of that that's uh, still visible as black or uh, solid left in there. It blends in even before the butter's fully melted. You really want to do your best to make sure that, like that there, that little chunk right there, stuff like that gets mixed in. And these bits here, they get mixed in. You're not necessarily going to get it perfect. Because there is still going to be a little bit of residual come off my, 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 my plastic knife here every now and then, but... That'll do. Good enough for the girls I go out with. So, don't want to leave that on the heat because we're done warming that. What you got now? Solo cup. One solo cup. Make sure you get everything swirled in and mixed in really well if there is any little bits of uh, plant material left in there that you left in your oil well you know what it's going in the cookie let everything drain out real well pour in 
you really do your best to get as much of that oil that butter to return as you can there we go this will go in the fridge to reconstitute into uh, solid butter again and that was making oil infused butter by the basement gardener peace out